We've been telling you about the widespread outages all across West Michigan. Crews have a long, long road ahead of them now. And joining me now with how Consumers Energy is dealing with the demand is Garrick Rochelle, the Vice President of Consum Customer Operations and Quality here. So I appreciate you coming in here. Absolutely. You guys Thank have you. a lot going on out there right now. Uh, one of your spokespeople had said earlier that we saw in our newscast, this is one of the worst storms ever for you guys. Is that your sentiment on this as well? Absolutely. And certainly one of our worst over the Christmas holiday, about 295,000 customers that have been impacted across the state, certainly a lot of them in West Michigan, but that storm, as you well know, went from Grand Rapids area all the way over to Flint. Yeah, so, we're talking about having uh, outages for some people out until like Saturday. Can you explain a little better to people why it's going to take that long to get power back? Well, in Saturday, in some of the worst hit areas, and, and particularly those are mostly in the eastern part of the state, must have, much of West Michigan will be here restored by Thursday at the latest. Um, but again, some of those hard hit areas, there's tree limbs down, there's still trees down, there's still roads that are impassable. And so we're working with the county road commissions and the like to get access to areas where we need to, to restore power. Are these just your crews or, or you, lots of times you'll contract with, with other power agencies outside of the state? Do we have other crews coming in here right now? Absolutely. We have about 1,500 of our own employees as well as contractors that are engaged. And we're bringing 1,000 line workers from out of state, uh, 11 states and the District of Columbia into Michigan. And so they're arriving, they're here already, more arriving today, uh, later today and tomorrow to help restore service. So you're thinking, it, it, as we talked about that hard date uh, of being Thursday then, when a lot of people would have their power on, or I guess everybody would have their power back on yeah, in, in West, West Michigan. Michigan. Yeah. Um, in the eastern part of the state is just a little rougher for you then. Absolutely, yes. What's going on with, with, with the whole reasoning behind this? I mean, we're talking about a lot of ice. Is that the, the main problem or is it the branches falling down on the ice? Yeah, so Ice on the trees and up, yeah. up some areas up to three quarters to an inch on trees, on power lines. That weight on the trees falls into the lines and breaks down the poles and the wire down. And we got about 13,000 down wires mm -hmm. and we're actively cautioning people to stay away from those, uh, those lines, stay 25 feet back for their safety. You know, part of the forecast here that Kyle's been talking about is it's not just going to be uh, the ice and the snow on the, the trees and on the lines. It's also now going to be pos the possibility for some strong winds. Um, which may just add to the problem here. What happens then? Absolutely. We've seen the numbers of impacted customers or outages increase. We were about at 260,000. We've went up to 295 from a statewide perspective. So additional snow loading, the wind is having an impact. The ice storms are the, one of the worst kind of storms when it comes to power outages. Yeah, all right. Well, we appreciate you coming in here, Gary. Thank you so Thank much. You. Uh, good luck to your crews and stay safe out there as they're working to restore that power. Thanks again.